Hello everyone, I'm Bethany with Texas Women's University Fitness and Recreation and this is Virtual Pilates. So today we won't need any additional equipment unless you know that you like to have equipment during certain moves. And as always, I encourage you guys to listen to your body, to take breaks, and to hydrate as you see fit throughout the workout and throughout the day. So let's begin lying on our backs. Beginning with the breath that will set the tone for today's workout. We'll begin with a neutral spine, so the sensation of a low back curve, and then also the curve of the back of your neck. We'll take a nice, full, deep breath in, feeling the rib cage expand like a balloon in all the directions. And then on the exhale, we'll feel everything lightly funnel in towards the spine. as we exhale through pursed lips, which is like blowing out through a straw or blowing out candles on a birthday cake. We'll keep with that breath throughout the entire workout today. Let's enter in to our imprint, which will be a pelvic tuck, flattening out the lower back toward the floor, and then we'll release on an exhale. Let's begin. Inhaling into our imprint, and then exhaling to release. Again, inhaling to imprint, and then exhaling to release. Let's take a last one, inhaling and exhaling. Now here, going to stay in this neutral spine if we can. If we can't, we'll take an imprint to help support ourselves here. But where this is gonna go is we'll inhale to scoop and lift one leg up to a tabletop position. And then we'll exhale. Scoop and lift the other leg to a tabletop position. And then we'll inhale to lower toward the floor. And then we'll exhale to scoop up. This is different than bending the knee. All right, continuing on. Inhaling to lower toward the floor. And then exhaling to scoop up. Again, inhaling to tap the toe, exhaling to scoop to return, inhaling to tap, exhaling to scoop. Last round, inhaling and exhaling, and then inhaling to lower and exhaling to scoop. And then inhaling as we start to lower, and then exhaling, letting the other leg chase toward the floor so that both feet are now on the floor in that beginning position. Now from here, we can enter into our hip rolls. So we'll begin with that inhale as we pass through that imprint, tucking the pelvis, and then we'll exhale to keep rolling that spine up off the mat into that diagonal shape here. So if I move my arm, you can see that there's space here, but the backs of my shoulder blades are still on the floor. And then we'll inhale here at the top, pressing those triceps and palms into the floor. And then on the exhale, we'll start to roll that spine back down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time, and then releasing those hips last to neutral. Again, let's inhale, passing through that imprint, and then exhale, roll that spine up off the floor or the mat, one vertebrae at a time. We'll inhale here at the top, and then we'll exhale, starting at the sternum. We're gonna roll that spine down with control, keeping that curl all the way until the hips touch the floor, and then we can release back to neutral. Let's take a last one like this, inhaling as we pass through that imprint, and then exhaling to sequentially peel that spine up off the mat. Then we can inhale at the top, and then we'll exhale 
lift control and we'll roll everything right back down to the mat or the floor, releasing the hips last. Let's take those hands and let them float just above the floor. And let's inhale to elevate the shoulders, letting them lift toward the ears. And exhale, depress, reaching the fingertips toward the heels. Inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, fingertips to heels. Last one like this. Inhaling to elevate and exhaling to depress. And then inhaling to neutral. And then we can take those hands and float them above the shoulders, palms facing in, going into protraction and retraction with our breath. Let's inhale to protract, reaching toward the ceiling. And then exhaling to retract, trying to think about drawing the shoulder blades together and down toward the center of the spine, like there's a small pencil longwise down the spine and the shoulder blades are trying to gently hold it in place. Let's repeat that. Inhaling to protract and reach, and then exhaling to draw it back. Last round. Inhaling to protract, and then exhaling to retract, and then inhaling to neutral. Let's let those hands float back down to the floor, palms facing down on either side of the hips. We're going to take a moment here and inhale to lift those hips to just a baby hover off the floor. Now that we're here, let's exhale to squeeze those hips in a lift that's more of a hinge and less of a curl. And then we'll inhale to lower them back to that hover. Tracking of the knees is important. We want to make sure they stay parallel as opposed to splaying in or out. Let's take two more like this. Exhaling to squeeze and lift. And then inhaling to lower back to that hover with control. Last one like this. Exhaling to squeeze. And then inhaling to hover. Hold this hover. Let those hands Float back to where they were, palms facing in above the shoulders. And we're going to add arm scissors with this. So let's exhale to hold. And then we'll inhale to squeeze the hips up and reach opposite direction, scissoring the arms. And then exhale to lower and hover the hips, drawing the arms back to center. Inhale to switch, scissoring the arms, and then exhale, back to that hover in center position. Inhale, switch, exhale, hover. Inhale, to scissor, exhale, to hover. Last round, inhale, squeeze, exhale, hover. Last one, inhale, and exhale. And then we'll inhale here, and then exhale. Lower from that hover, and release those arms back down to the mat or the floor. We can give the knees a shake side to side, and the head also a shake side to side. And then we'll enter in our head nods and our ab prep. So from here in a neutral spine, we'll inhale to nod the head, gently tucking the chin, and then exhale back to neutral. Two more, inhaling to nod, exhaling to neutral, and last one, inhaling to nod, and then exhaling to neutral. From here, we can always take the fingertips lightly behind the ears to support the weight of the head if we feel like our head is extra heavy or if we notice tension in our neck. But otherwise, we'll let the hands float on either side of the hips, hovering just above the mat or the floor. Then we'll inhale as we nod the head, and then we'll continue to exhale as we curl that spine up off the floor, thinking of rolling an imaginary sleeping bag 
forward and up. We'll inhale here and we'll exhale to roll it right back down. Again, inhaling to nod, exhaling to flex it up, inhaling to hold, and then exhaling to roll it right back down. And again, inhale, nod, exhale with control, curling it up, inhaling, and then exhaling to lower it back down. And then once more, and we'll stay up, let's inhale to nod, exhale, curl it up, inhale, hold, and then flex a little bit deeper for five, four, three, two, one, Inhale here, and then entering into heel touches. If you don't touch the heel, it's okay. We're looking for that lateral contraction side to side. So let's exhale, reach fingertips toward the heel in a lateral bend. Inhale, back to center. Other side, exhale, reach, inhale, center. Trying to keep this height. Exhale, reach, inhale, center, exhale, and inhale, center, halfway, exhale. Inhaling, back to center, keeping that curve. Exhale, reach, inhale, center. Last round, exhale, inhale, center, and exhale, reach, and inhale, center, and then exhale. Roll it all back down. We can once again give the hips a side to side shake or the head. And then we shall flip over on to our stomachs, entering into our breaststroke preps, but we won't do a whole lot of them because we have the full breaststroke coming up later. So let's take the legs, rotate them out laterally, so turned out at the hip, toes pointing toward the corner edges of the mat, or if you are mat free like myself, they'll be at about your silhouette distance or just within the inside of your shoulders. So hands are gonna be underneath the shoulders, forearms down on the mat. We're gonna think about those shoulders before we go anywhere, already coming up, back, and down in that position. We're gonna think of squeezing the glutes lightly together behind us. We're gonna think of drawing that belly button away from the t-shirt. And we're gonna be here in a neutral spinal position. Once we're here, we'll take a full breath cycle to prepare. In and out. One last inhale to prepare. And then on the exhale, we're gonna think of using that upper back to lift us up. Gentle extension, very slight press into those fingers. We'll inhale here at the top, and then on the exhale, we'll take it back down. Let's take one more of those, inhaling to prepare, and then exhaling, using that upper back to draw you up, inhaling to hold, and then exhaling to curl you back down with control to the mat. Let those palms float down to face toward the hips. Now in this position, we're going to think of inhaling and exhaling to prepare. Then we'll inhale as the shoulders roll up, back, and down. And we'll exhale to lift. And then we'll inhale to lower back to that hover and keep those arms lifted just slightly. Once again, we're gonna change the breathing, exhaling to reach those fingertips and open the shoulders. Inhaling to lengthen and lift forward. And then exhaling to draw it back down. Adding on one more time to this move. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale 
to reach those fingertips toward the heels. Inhaling to lengthen and lift. Exhaling to hold. And then inhaling to lower it back down to the mat. Awesome. Let's let those hands float forward and glue themselves to the forehead. They'll stay here in this position. I'll be slightly turned so that we can see here and talk to one another. But from this position, still drawing the belly button away from the t-shirt, squeezing the glutes lightly together. Hands and forehead also glued together. We're going to inhale to prepare. And then on the exhale, we're gonna let that upper back lift us just slightly off the mat. We'll exhale to hold. Inhale to hold, actually. Now we can exhale. Take it back down to the mat or the floor. Put myself in a Pilates trance. Let's take one more of those. So we shall inhale to prepare. Exhaling to draw us up. Now we can inhale to hold. And then we can exhale to draw us right back down to the mat or the floor. Let's press up and back drawing the knees in so that we can round the spine and get us a quick shell stretch here. Breathing in nice and deep and out. Feeling that abdominal contraction. And then we can inhale to stack us up. We're going to shift back around so that we can begin entering in to our Pilates 100 and our long ab series. So, from this position, remember there's options here. You can be uh, reclined the entire time with the arms straight, banging on an imaginary mattress behind your palms. You can nod the head and flex it up here. Same business. Also, from this position, you can float to a tabletop shape here. You can lengthen the legs to a 90 degree position or with soft knees if your hamstrings are tight. You can also uh, alternate between the two as we breathe. We can go out to a 45 position here. We can go in between these. We can also go between these. And then we can also go to a hollow body here, and we can go in between these. And that, going from 45 to hollow body, is where we're going to be today. So, if you are in an earlier position, if you'll be patient with the rest of us as we work to get uh, set up into the correct shape, we all appreciate that. So, let's take a full breath in and out to prepare. Breathing in and out. Kind of feeling everything contract down toward the center of your body. Now, no matter where you are, unless you are perfectly reclined on the floor, let's inhale to nod the head and then exhale. Hover the hands and curl us up. If you're going with me to the full 45, uh, to hollow body. Let's inhale to lift one leg up and the other leg up. Let's exhale to lengthen out to 45 and let's breathe in two, three, four, five and out. Two, three, four, five. In two, three, four, five and out. Two, three, four, five. In two, three, four, five and out. Two, three, four, five. Five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five halfway in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three 
four, five. Last one. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Draw the knees in. Exhale. Float those hands. Two frame on either side of the knees. Going into our single leg stretch. Inhale here. And then exhale. Lengthen one leg. Frame the other knee. And then inhale. Draw it back into center. Switching sides. Exhaling to lengthen. And then inhaling. Back to center. Exhaling to lengthen. And then inhaling to scoop and draw back to center. Once more. Lengthen. And back to center. I lied. We have two more from here. Lengthening. And then inhaling back to center. And then exhaling. And then inhaling back to center. Let those hands float behind the ears. Fingertips lightly supporting the head. Going in to our obliques here. Let's inhale to rotate. Twisting through the obliques. And then exhale back to center. Inhaling to rotate. And then exhaling back to center. Inhale to rotate. And then exhale, center. Inhale to rotate. And then exhale, center. Last round, inhaling to rotate. And then exhaling to center. And then inhaling to rotate. And then exhaling to center. Let's inhale to float those hands to frame the knees. And then exhale, hollow body. Take your imaginary top hat off and lengthen everything away. And then inhale to scoop back to center, further curling in. Exhale to reach. Inhale to fan the arms and scoop. Again, exhale, reach. Inhale, fan and scoop. Other way. Inhaling to fan. Exhaling to draw back in. Inhaling to fan and lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Last one. Inhaling to fan and exhaling to scoop. Now, taking hold of one calf and lengthening out opposite directions. We're going to pulse in for two on an inhale. Here we go. Inhaling, inhaling, and then exhale to switch. And then inhale, inhale with a tiny pulse. Exhale, switch, inhale, inhale, exhale, switch, inhale, inhale, and then exhale, switch. Last round, inhale, inhale, exhale, switch, and then inhale, inhale, exhale, center, inhale the knees in, and exhale, roll it down, give the knees a shake or a rock side to side. The same for the head and neck. And then from here, let's rock slightly up. And we're going to come to our side for our side kicks. So we have discussed before, there's various postures for this. With the entire body long in one line. With the uh, head and neck cradled here with the torso uh, propped, thinking of drawing this oblique away from the floor, and then also all of those positions with the legs either all in one line or about a foot distance forward. So please pick an option that feels most appropriate for your body today. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. There's also a beach lying position here, as long as it's not this smooshed number where this is all long and flat and my hip is wanting to curl up. Instead, I want it to be about here where there's a tiny bit of space because I'm actively drawing this oblique away and my hips are still stacked. However, this is fairly challenging for me, so I will take the feet about one foot's length forward because I don't want to be uh, super chaotic during this move. I want to make sure that I've mastered it. 
before I move on to the next level. So, and sometimes uh, we may have mastered something, but our body just isn't feeling it or isn't cooperating or we don't know what's going on. And it's okay to give your body a break and uh, go back to the basics because we're still looking for feeling the glute activation uh, in this move and also feeling the core stability. So speaking of stability, that front hand can uh, cupcake or lightly rest uh, in front of the body uh, to assist or if you are comfortable, as long as you're not dumping here, the hand can rest on the waist or the hip. I think I'm going to be in the lightly resting uh, group myself and then we're going to take that top leg and float it to about level with the hip. So from here, we're going to take those toes and point them up as we lift the hip and then we're going to flex that foot so we have a right angle in the ankle and exhale to squeeze through the inner thighs to lower it back down. And then we've got nine more. So here we go. Inhaling to point and lift, and then exhaling to squeeze and lower. Inhaling to point and lift, and then exhaling to squeeze and lower. Inhaling for four, exhaling to lower. Inhaling for five, and then exhaling to lower. Inhaling for six, flex and exhaling to lower. Inhaling up, exhaling for seven, inhaling up, exhaling eight, and then inhaling, exhaling to lower, inhale to point and lift, and then exhaling to flex and lower. Keep this here and we'll point forward and flex back. So let's inhale to point forward and then exhale to flex it back through that heel. Inhaling to point forward and then exhaling to flex through that heel back. Inhaling, pointing forward, exhaling, flexing back, looking for stability in the torso. Inhaling to point forward, exhaling to flex back. Inhale, pointing forward, Exhaling, flexing back. Five more. Inhaling, pointing forward. Exhaling, back. Inhaling, forward. Exhaling, back. Three more. Inhaling, forward. Exhaling, back. Inhaling, to point. Exhaling, to flex. And last one, inhaling forward, and then exhaling to flex it back, inhaling back to center, and then exhaling, letting it release back to meet its mate. Let's carefully shift our bodies around to take that on the other side. So, similar setup here, there are options. All in one line with the head cradled in our beach lying position and then in our low side plank position here uh, with the legs all of those plus either all in line with the body or one foot's length forward and that is where I'm going to be except I will be in the supported beach lying position here with the Top hand again, we can be resting on the hip, resting on the waist, cup caked or lightly resting on the floor. And that's where I'm going to be. So let's rinse repeat on the other side and then check in with your hips. I feel like I'm kind of pressed down. So I wanna make sure that my hips are stacked and also not rocking back or forward. Now that I'm here, let's take that top leg and let it float to about hip distance. And I'm going to inhale to point through that toe to lift. And then I'm going to exhale, flex through that ankle. And squeeze it back down to that start position. So not all the way down to its mate, just about hip distance here. With the right angle in the ankle, pressing through the heel. So let's take our nine more. Inhaling to point and lift. 
exhaling to lower. Again, inhaling to point, exhaling for three. Inhaling, exhaling, flex four. Inhale, point five, exhale. Inhale, point and lift six, exhale. Inhale, point and lift seven, and exhale, doing great. Inhale, point and lift eight, exhale, two more. Inhale, point, lift, exhale. And last one, inhale, point, and exhale, squeeze and lower. Keeping it here, going forward and back. Let's inhale to point through that toe forward, and then exhale, press through that heel coming back. Trying to avoid rocking forward and back with the torso. Let's inhale to point it forward, and then exhale to squeeze and press back. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale, pointing forward. Exhale, flexing back. Inhale, forward five. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, point forward six. Exhale, flex it back. Trying to keep tension out of our shoulders. Inhale, pointing forward. Exhale, flexing back and keeping that top leg level with the hip. Inhale, pointing forward. Exhale back. Three more. We've got this. Inhale, pointing forward. Exhale, flexing back. Two more. Inhale forward. Exhale, flex back. Last one. Inhale, point forward. And then exhale, flex it back. Inhale back to that start position. And exhale, let it release. Now from here we can come to our stomachs and we'll enter into, uh, instead of our single leg lift, we're going to do double leg lift prone uh, at the same time. So in this case, the head and the hands will be glued here to the forehead the entire time. I'll be slightly turned so that we can talk to one another, but we'll still think of those shoulders coming up and back and down the back the glutes or the backs of the hips squeezing lightly together. We're going to have the legs just slightly rotated out or turned out at the hip toward those uh, corners, but not uh, super turned out. We just don't want knees jamming in to the floor. Then we can take that belly button and think of drawing it away from the t-shirt. And then we're going to take a full breath cycle to prepare, breathing in and out and then we'll inhale to lengthen and lift both legs at the same time and then we'll exhale to lower again inhaling to lengthen and lift and then exhaling to lower once more inhaling to lengthen and lift and then exhaling to lower. Now with the arms, we're gonna leave the legs on the floor. We're gonna take those arms and let them come about shoulder distance apart, palms down on the mat. And we're gonna take our uh, upper back and our arms with us, all in that similar lift that we just did with the uh, glutes and the legs but this time it'll be upper back and arms, both arms at the same time. And if you feel like, hmm, I cannot do that, one arm at a time totally works. We are only doing two rounds. So here we go, full breath in and out to prepare, breathing in and out. And then on the inhale, we're gonna lengthen forward and lift, arms and upper back come together, but legs stay on the floor, and then we'll exhale to lower. Last one, let's inhale to lift, and then exhale to lower. All right, 
Now we get to add arms and legs at the same time so that we can enter into our swimmer. Here we go. Let's inhale once more to lift the arms and the upper back together. Exhale to hold. And then we'll inhale to lengthen and lift through those legs. Exhale to hold. And then let's breathe in two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, inhale to lengthen and lift everything, and then exhale to lower it down. Now from here, we can draw those hands in and press up and back, sliding the knees in as well and rounding that spine for a nice shell stretch here. Breathing in nice and deep and exhaling and feeling that gentle ab contraction. And then we can inhale to stack it up. Let's find a comfortable seated position for us and we'll take our last breath of class together. Letting the hands come out to the side, we can inhale to fan the arms, and then exhale to take the hands down in front of the center of the body. Thank you guys so much for joining me to develop our mat practice for Pilates today. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Take good care.